What's up, folks? Welcome to another episode of Watching Paint Dry here on Another Letdown Media. My name is Zach from Another Letdown, and this is Difficult Video Game Podcast. I'll be your host this evening, along with my intrepid co-host, my perennial painting partner, Broody Gambit. Broody, how's it going, man? It's going great. Uh, glad to be here. Yeah, me too, as ever. Uh, this is the show where we hang out probably after we should have otherwise gone to bed, as Cult of Gloom points out in the chat. Uh, yeah, this is a late start time. We start later. Uh, just This is a good way to wrap up a week. Wind down, stay up a little bit late, talk, talk comics and games and other things, and work through the ridiculous backlog of miniatures that we have to paint. Uh, we'll be doing this live on camera, as we always do, and chatting with our, each other and you, the glorious chat out there in radio video land uh, as with all the shows that we host on the another letdown media channel we believe in civil rights for absolutely everyone and in being as inclusive as possible so any comments or activity actively working against that goal are not welcome and will not be tolerated so what do you say we've made some minis yes. i tonight have my camera zoomed way too far out because i was using it for dice the other day uh i'm working on some more of the batman gotham city chronicles mooks and thugs these are harley quinn's thugs i also have uh red hood's thugs waiting in the wings and they are pretty much the same process so i imagine they'll probably kind of all get done all at once mike what do you got in the docket tonight so i have got there's no no good way to show one of the uh satellite remote like turrets from empire strikes back oh cool uh it is a more full base figure so nice yep Figured I'm going to be working on that. Very cool. I'm excited to see how that comes out. That's going to be neat. Um, so, Cult of Gloom, that's a great question. Uh, I don't know <laughs> because I've not played this game. But in my mind, Harley's just kind of borrowing Joker's thugs anyway. But these guys have masks and they're dressed a little bit nicer. Um, so, you know, we'll see. Hey, Kirk, how you doing? Normally, I'd be starting out with bigger areas of color, but the funny thing about these minis is there really isn't any. Um, there's the white, there's the red and purple on the mask, and everything else is just black. But I have some cool ideas. Bloom. The difference between Harley's thugs and Joker's. There you go. Yeah. Very minimal. <laughs> yeah. They kind of have that Harlequin diamond black and red pattern. Oh, that's... Versus that's Joker's thugs are mostly yeah. just like clowns. Yeah. That's brutal, Kirk. Very nice. So this mini appears to be long enough for me that I'm breaking up the vehicle brush. Oh, nice. That is a rebel turret, Captain Kirk. So these guys are going to end up having cummerbunds, which is kind of funny. <laughs> Wait, really? That's cool. Things are well. Things are well. Um, got a new phone today. That was exciting. Uh, iPhone 12 Ma Pro Max? Something like that. iPhone 12, no, iPhone 12 Pro, I believe is what it's called. It's the smaller of the two. My bro my wife got the, uh, the the big one. But I find that the, if I go any bigger than the phone I already had, which is the iPhone X, uh, it doesn't really fit in my pocket. Yeah, right? I mean, on any <laughs> on any channel that's not yeah, that's basically all the channel points. I would I would I would concur with that. Adam and I have been talking about doing some cool stuff with channel points on his channel. I'm gonna try and come up with something that I can implement here too. How did your stream go with Adam on Wednesday? Uh, well, um, it went well. 
Uh, he's much better at the game than I. Well, okay, no, that's not true. Uh, we discovered, we did some learning and growing. Ace is like 30xx hard mode. I died a lot because I was playing as Ace. As soon as I turned over and started playing with Nina uh, off stream, I was doing just as well, if not better, than we did together. Um, so the the discrepancy between the two characters is very surprising. I figured Ace would play a lot more like Zero than he did, um, but I think Mega Man being a more first party game, uh, they have a little more time to iron out those kinks and make him play in in his own way, mm -hmm. which doesn't really come through with Ace. I mean that's fair, Kirk. I the the only reason that I that I right yeah yeah, yeah that's true. These are very very Mega Man X stages, uh, where Zero stages are a little bit more conducive to sword fighting. But no, we had we had an absolute great time. It was it was very very fun. Oh, you mean in in the X games? I I was referring to Ace is like Mega Man X Zero, and you bash your head against a wall, wondering why he not worked like Mega Man Zero Zero. Yes, RPD. That's that's not a bad way of putting it. That's that, that's actually a pretty good way of putting it. Um, I expected I expected Mega Man Zero, and got Mega Man X, which is not a complaint. <laughs> So I'm going to go through a ton of lead belter tonight. <laughs> yeah, I imagine so. We also learned a lot about playing a platformer cooperatively. Um, which was very cool. But I would conclude I that... Playing, like the Super Mario, like... <laughs> So, I, I've been playing that this week too, <laughs> but on my Super own. Mario 3D World? Yeah, but I'm playing that on my own. Uh, I'm yeah. almost all the way through it. Did I ever try Cuphead? Um, briefly, but I concluded very quickly uh, that I would want someone to play it with, uh, and not play that one on my own. I loved it. I was very, very enthused about Cuphead. Um, but I couldn't find, at the time, I couldn't find anybody to play with. And now that I, you know, have people that I would play that with, I've moved on to other things. But I will say, like, 30XX um, is is wonderful. I am enjoying the crap out of it, both uh, single player and multiplayer. Uh, I can't wait to see how it evolves, because obviously it's in early access, so it'll change. Um, it's difficult, but it's definitely, yeah, Captain Kirk is right. It's very hard compared to 20XX. Goodness, and that one was pretty rough already. Yeah. But Captain Kirk was was funny on, on the stream. Uh, he challenged me. He said, okay, I'm going to download 30XX. 
And I want to see which one of us, you and Adam together, or me, finishes an level first. And uh, Adam and I did it, you know, just a little bit before he did. And then, you know, once once I got off, gave it 24 hours, sat down again, and played as Nina, I was like, oh, first try. But, yeah, 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 I, that's, that's also where I'm at, Kirk. RPD and I have been talking for quite a long time about, like, games that I would use as filler streams, like, in between bigger games or something like that. Um, 30XX falls very firmly in that camp. Like, I'm not gonna... Like, I will play that, you know, on my own a whole lot, because I can sit down in, like, 20 minutes and, and play a run. Uh, much, like, much in the same way I can do with, with Hades. Um, but... I'm not going to sit there and try and play, you know, a full run on stream. That would be miserable. Unless I, I was in a situation where I had someone like Adam playing with me who knew it better than both of us did and knew sort of what to expect. Um, I have also beat two runs in a, in a stage, yeah. Or two, two stages in a run. Once. <laughs> I did mention Hollow Knight the other day. I am, I was playing that. I haven't in a while because other things have come out, but I'm definitely playing that off stream at this point. I played a bunch of it on stream, uh, but it's, I love it so much. And I wanted it, I wanted to give it sort of different, a different level of attention. Uh, so that I decided to stop playing that on stream and, and play it off stream so I can really appreciate it. It is beautiful. It the every part of that game is amazing, and I just it it just felt to me like something I needed to appreciate on a different level. Yeah, I know, right? Silk Song. So that's why that's why I'm no longer playing Hollow Knight on stream. And that's not the first time, and I'm sure it's not going to be the last. I know. Um, I'm sure that's not going to be the last time I, I, I do that either. You know, start a game on stream and be like, oh, who? <laughs> so you were asking who you should play against Citizen Dawn. Um, man, I there are so many characters I love to run against Citizen Dawn. Wraith being one of them. The Naturalist. Really good. What was that, Brody? Oh, Fanatic. Fanatic is very fun against Citizen Dawn, that is true. Oh, stay open, paint can. Come on. Oh, yeah. Do it, Kirk. And share it with us. Or share it with that, there's a Google Drive uh, somewhere on the letters page of all a bunch of like other IP characters. I'm liking that, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you did. You need three things to deal with Citizen Dawn. A pain, a plan to deal with her flip, enough ongoing destruction and awareness for her of her board wipe. Yeah, I would agree. Or a willingness to just race. I do uh, have yeah, a uh, visionary is a good one for uh, for uh, her as well. Yes, so much control. Like whenever you get close to having enough citizens in the trash, you just shuffle them back into her deck. Yep. Provided you have the right card. Right. So 
you may be asking yourself, Zach, how do you know... How are you so good at evenly splitting faces? Half with one color and half with the other. Well, for the first several dozen of my Chaos Dwarfs looked like Deathstroke. And so I painted them accordingly. And so now going back and doing these Harley thugs who have 50-50 split masks, it's very easy. Shout out to Forge World <laughs> for those ridiculous dwarfs. Omnitron is a very hot and cold boss. That's true. I love a good Omnitron fight. As a matter of fact, I think we will have one tomorrow night. Uh, because I love a good Omnitron fight so much. I do know that tomorrow night we do have a very special uh, Baron Blade speed run coming at the very end of the show. Um, so requested by uh, frequent chat denizen Blink. Uh, Blink played a game on stream today and Baron Blade messed him up. And uh, Or maybe it was yesterday, I don't know. Time is time is running together for me right now. I have no meaning. Yep, it's, it's the last couple days of vacation. I'm really uh, drinking it in, if you know what I mean. All right, bet Cult of Gloom. How would you how would you defeat Omnitron turn two? Oh oh, he can kill you. The villain that can defeat you the fastest. Okay, sorry, never mind. Yep, I got. It. I read it backwards. Yep. Hey, Blink, speaking of Blink, how are you? We were just talking about the uh, Baron Blade speedrun that I promised I would do tomorrow. So I was just looking, Broody. What's up? Can you believe this is our 41st episode? Uh, no, that's really hard to believe. I know, right? I'm very excited about it. I'm getting into the lead belcher myself here. No, I'll, I'll go in blind, Blink. I, that's kind of the way that my Baron Blade speedruns go. Um, I am not very far in, Kirk. Uh, it's been a long time. So like, like I said, a lot of stuff came out uh, when I decided to, to put that down. Um, so yeah, I, it, like on, to be perfectly honest, I don't remember. RPD might remember. He was there for most of that. But like, so it was kind of funny. Like I would sit down 
and be like, oh, I'm going to play this game. It's going to be great. And then immediately get distracted by how beautiful it is. And I would just end up wandering around for two hours and not really getting a whole lot accomplished because I was just so in, in awe of how gorgeous the game is. As, as a digital art um, person, it just appealed to me on so many levels. Yeah, man. 41 episodes. And Zack Sucks Games is somewhere in the 70s at this point. Are so easy. Uh, that has begun, Cult of Glue. I mean, you know, it's going to be, we, we, you know, we're only doing one of these a, a week, so we're looking at over another year before episode 100. But uh, this is difficult, episode 100 tomorrow. I think, yeah, I think that's tomorrow, and I don't think we have anything special planned. I think we're just going to kind of let it happen. <laughs> but it has not. But we've added new features, like... Uh, yeah, I believe his intent. I believe his intention is to is to be home in time. I already saw him posting again, so he may even already be home. He wasn't camping particularly far away from home. I think these guys should have light hair. What do you think, Rudy? Sorry, what? I think these guys should have lighter hair. Yeah. So, like, I'm, you know, I've been using um, Mornfang. I think I'm going to go with Steel Asian Drab. Like, how light? It's like a sandy Wait. brown. Okay, I was thinking more of a blonde, but... I can do blonde. Probably <clears throat> more of a... Like a Zandri Dust. Uh, that might even be too light. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that'll work. Good one. That'll work. Oh yeah, definitely. Ooh, paint cans shedding. Hey, Blink, the paint dried in this weird little chunk. You were not referring to the camping. Uh, maybe you know something that I don't? <laughs> I am, but I'm not, I don't pay much attention to it. Oh, right. Oh, that thing. Uh, I don't know.
Yes, I did see that thing. So yeah, answer. I I have no idea. Um, we have a plan. I, I think we have a like a loose plan for tomorrow night. So I'll I don't know. We'll find out. But WCSM, I'm back to school on Monday, so getting to sleep early wouldn't hurt, especially since I have to get up early to go up to Maine tomorrow anyway. What's going on with this brush? It's got like a hook. Which is not super visible on camera, but it's got like this weird hook to it that I'm not loving. No, although we do have one at the store. It is conceivable. If someone were to commission it, I would paint another birthday cake. But that is birthday not cake? The, Remember the birthday cake that I did? The the dwarf standing on the cake with the power armor? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, if, some, if someone were to commission it for the 100th episode, yeah, I would do that. Um, Broody, we just I haven't talked to you about this, but uh, after the citizens call yesterday, we may have a rather sizable commission coming in <laughs> that we're both going to need to work on. We we may have a rather sizable commission coming in that we're both going to need to tackle. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll talk to you about it more off air, but. But like I looked at the size of it, I'm like, oh my god, I can't do this all by myself. <laughs> And still have any time to do my own minis. It is a rather large Kickstarter. A notoriously large Kickstarter. His hair is oddly shaped. But there it is. I have like seven different power sources I could use for the night, and I'm not sure which one to use. What What are your seven, Kirk? We can help you narrow it down. Sentinel Comics character creation. It's just one more free service we offer here on Watching Paint Dry. Ah, uh, oh. Yeah, I would say higher power sounds pretty cool there. From Hollow Knight, Brian. The one from chess. <laughs> well done, RPD. Oh, I can't believe it. A year ago today, we were at PAX East. Or well, you weren't, but... We yeah. being the citizens. And then it's the last time we've all hung out in person, and it's like crushing me right now. Why 
this is so out of focus. Of different hair shades here. I'm gonna do a couple with uh, darker hair. Steel Legion Drab. So, my wife and I watched um, Firefly Lane this week with uh, Sarah Chalk and. Um, Catherine Heigl. That show is very good. I was pleasantly surprised. You can spoil it, Kirk. It's not a big deal. I'm not worried about it. Game spoilers I worry far less about than... Movie spoilers, which seem to be rampant these days. <laughs> uh, Cult of Gloom, you, you don't know me all that well in person. Um... But I can say I can. I'll, I'll, I'll give. I'll give you this. Jeremy Handel from Handelabra refers to us as introverts who can pretend in short bursts to be extroverts, but then get very worn out and crabby afterward. <laughs> Make myself as an CRPG character. I mean, I do have. Uh, actually, no, I don't have the rule book right next to me right now. Uh, my niece is borrowing it right now, and the other copies at the store. Where it lives. Also, I'm not going to stop painting to do that. <laughs> but I think I think Brian is very, uh, you know, close to correct. Yeah, Infernal could work there. Oh shoot, what did I do that for? That was dumb. Bolts of not fire. Spoken like a true Janet. I also just finished watching The Good Place. Darcy Carden's character from The Good Place. She is not a robot, not a person not a girl and she's she says that a lot oh, it's kind of a catchphrase I'm sorry I make references that people don't understand all the time I apologize Brody are you still there or did your mic cut out again no, no I'm still here sorry okay just checking behind the scenes folks uh, every time Brody and I get on a, a voice call together one of two things happens either my mic cuts out halfway through the show, as it did twice with Adam, or, or sometimes and, so and or, Broody's mic doesn't work when he first joins the call. <laughs> I 
It's become something of a joke. At this point. Yeah, it always does, like, I don't know what it is, like, other than, like, using a web camera. Yeah. Oh, I got, I, I installed Steam on my dad's computer today. So he yeah. can play bottom of the ninth with me. I gotta get him a microphone, though. Because he is going to make a guest appearance on Tales from the Archive at some point. And join me for Bottom of the Ninth and Sentinels. That sounds fun. Yeah, it's going to be a good time. Bottom of the Ninth is great. I, I really like that game. Uh, Dad and I have... So, that was the first game where I showed my dad the Kickstarter page. And he was like, you need to get that game. Like, right now. And so, of course, I did. Um, and he is very excited every time I bring it over. He, he, he loves that game. He's very good at it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really good. And so, my chat on the Handle Arbor stream on sa Sunday night last week. It is a baseball game. Yep. It's But it's literally just the bottom of the night. So, it's like... It, the game, again, average game takes what, Brody? About 15, 20 minutes, maybe? Yeah, for the most part. Yeah, 15 to 20 minutes would be a good good time estimate. just black. That's interesting. Okay, fair enough. So a, a long half inning? Yeah, pretty much. Um, but it's... I mean, that's including setup and banter and all kinds of other stuff. It Like, Dad and I have played a full nine-inning game of Bottom of the Ninth before. It's How's that work? I'm not excited. It gets pretty tedious. But, like, I, I had to keep texting Chris Kirkman and be like, okay, how does this work in terms of timing? Like, help me out. Yep, these guys are just incredibly boring. All right. Encore Corax White. Painting gloves, we're painting gloves, we're painting gloves white. Did you get the latest um, Arkham Card Game Mythos pack? Uh, it's in the mail, I believe. Nice. We got it at the store Monday. We also got uh, the new Richard Lanius X-Men game. Yeah. Mutant something, something. How is that? Um, I saw when they like debuted in... I haven't really heard anything about it. I honestly don't know. I mean, my buddy Eric picked it up. Um, I assume that I will hear from him in the next couple of days with his thoughts 
Um, so maybe next week I'll be able to report on it. But uh, like it, it looks fun. I mean, it's it's Richard Lanius doing superheroes. Like great, cool. Um, I think I'm certainly more looking forward to Freedom Five in uh -huh. terms of Lanius superheroes. You know, partially due to to our connection with the product, but but also like I guess I just have. Oh, yeah, good one, Kirk. Yes, definitely. Um, I guess I just have less interest in the X-Men than Adam, for example. Yeah. That's the one. Thank you, Cult of Bloom. Um, don't get me wrong. I love the X-Men. I just don't love them as much as, say, Daredevil, for example. Who, by the way, oh my gosh, came out fantastic. In our little project. Which Daredevil? AOGS. Okay. I'm so happy with the way he came out. Like after after you and Chamali kind of came in and were like, hey, look at this thing that we can do. I was like, oh my god, that's so cool. Yes, let's do that. It is a Fantasy Flight game. This one, yes. It's Fantasy Flight with Richard Lanius, which uh, in, in most cases is, you know, a match made in heaven in my mind. Um, uh, but you know, I'll, I'll wait, I'll play it eventually for sure. Um, but it's not one that I, I feel like I need to rush out and pick up right now. If, if, if the core game is still on the shelf at the store when I work next, like I might seriously consider it, but I've also got the big hard covers for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comics coming in. Not all of them. There's like 13 volumes of that, and they're 60 bucks a piece. So, I'm even with my crazy store credit, I'm not quite ready to pull the trigger on all of them yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I would say close quarters combat. I'm sorry, pretty. I was just saying I can't get my brush into this one spot. Yeah, I'm having a little bit of trouble with N corner. There we go. He, I mean, I don't know that I could in good conscience give him speedster. Like, he's not that quick. I mean, he does dash a lot, obviously, but... Do it, RPD. Hot takes, let's go. The best and only kind of take. Exactly. There you go. Yes, agility I would agree with. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm there with you, RPD. Like... You know, I, I enjoy X-Men. They're fine, but I there are so many... I mean, okay. Here's my hot take. Powers are... Or super, supers are way more interesting when they're either unpowered or limited power. Or very, very, like, specific situational power. Um, that's why I love Jessica Jones. Or, I mean, Daredevil is the blind man with the power of sight. Like, come on. Batman has no power at all. He's just, I mean, other than money. And and smarts. You know, intelligence is a thing. But... I don't love the whole, oh, hey, you were just born into this thing, and now you're an X-Man. <laughs> yeah, well, right. It's it's just a different kind of an, a marksman. Uh, cult of Gloom. I have more money than God and I'm smarter than everyone put together, yeah. And frightfully aware of it. He's not smarter than everyone put together. He's not smarter than uh, Reed Richards. That is true. <laughs> You're right. 
Although Tony would insist that he is. I don't know. I like Tony. I think is uh, pretty self-aware enough where he like realizes that he's not smarter than that. Yeah, Hank Pym is uh, in there as well, and Amadeus Cho. I think those are the three smartest. Uh, yeah. Um, and uh, like Marvel characters. Adam and I started down a, a discussion about the new Spider-Man um, film title being released and then got distracted. What do you th think about it, Mike? Was it No Way Home or whatever? Yep. Eh. It's alright. Yeah, that's kind of how I felt too. It's like, oh, okay. I guess they want to keep sticking home in the title somehow. Yeah, which doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me. It's like, it worked in the first movie... Why are you doing this? There are a lot of smart characters in, in Marvel. That's true. Limited tolerance for any kind of drama. Yeah. Alertness and magical lore. Yeah, sure. That makes very much sense to me. I would, and I would put alertness at a higher die size than magical lore if you can. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yep, pure nail definitely is the D10. And having the other two at D8 is, like, that's what I was going to suggest. If you've got two D8s, that also makes sense. All right. Um... Oh, right. The Bugman's Glow. X-Men works better in a vacuum because it's weird, plus this one specific power source has people racist against it, but the Fantastic Four and Captain Marvel are fine. Or, like, anyone. Peter Parker. Totally forgot to get a new pot of Bugman's Glow this week. Gonna kick my butt. I mean, we all know Spider-Man's a menace. One of my favorite lines in the MCU is uh, when he meets Falcon and they're talking at each other. And Falcon goes, you know, usually there's not this much talking. Right, sorry, my bad. <laughs> But the average person would just assume Spider-Man is a mutant, you think, right? Yeah. Let's see what this 
Hm. Interesting. Yeah, that's... Yeah, you're not wrong. I Part of me wants to say that they addressed that in Civil War, but, like... I gotta be honest, Civil War was... Not my favorite comic series. I don't know that it was anybody's, to be specific. It wasn't as bad as Civil War 2, yeah, that's true. I was talking with uh, Mark Millar, who wrote Civil War, um, shortly before Captain America 3 came out. And he's like, yeah, they didn't even talk to me or anything. So I don't know what to expect. <laughs> Marvel loves to do a lot. Of, yes, that is very much in the Marvel uh, wheelhouse, I guess. It's expected behavior from Marvel. Civil War 2 was real bad. It was real bad. Part of that being down, I think, to one of the major players in Civil War 2 was Captain Marvel, who... Does anybody, like... I know I'm going to get in trouble because there are plenty of people who like her, but... Like... I just... I don't understand. Are there people who like her? One of my wife's best friends... And a good friend of mine loves her. And I'm like, but, 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 but Monica's better. She was a much better character when she was still just Miss Marvel. Who is, and, and of course that brings up another thing. Like, why does Kamala Khan exist? Like, I know they're just trying to tick, like, I feel like they're just trying to tick boxes at this point. It's like, yeah. come on. Okay, well, that was easy. <laughs> well, we also hang out with that other guy. We, we are also loosely associated with that other guy, RPD. Who gets in more trouble than we do. The guy who did not discover FP. Yeah. That guy. Um, bugger. Oh, okay. That's a good way of making this a little bit more exciting. Uh, you are Cult of Gloom, and that's kind of intentional. today, Broody. Yeah. 
I'm already uh, already already painting the base, getting down that layer of Mechanicus standard. Good job. <laughs> Ooh. I am done with the. Uh, well, not done. I need to do accents on the dish, but yeah, I decided to move on to uh, the troopers. The duders, yeah. So apparently it's Girl Scout cookie delivery week. Yay! I know, right? Deliciousness. My sister brought over the ones we ordered from my niece today, and then we got to my parents, and the ones that my we bought from my cousin's daughter was wait were waiting for us. I remember to ask Tegan on Wednesday how they're actually doing Girl Scouts this year. So I'm trying to... I'm trying to schedule... Scott Pilgrim movie night with my sister's family at some point. That movie is so good. It really is. Bread makes you fat? <laughs> There's just so many good lines in it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm basically constantly watching it cult of gloom like if i'm just sitting at my desk or something like that a responsibilities principle <laughs> yeah that makes sense how much uh, uh yes uh <laughs> That will happen. We the the list is a mile long, man. Yeah, principal youth fit seems to fit for the night. I was busy eating dinner at the time, but I think I saw Adam say that he <laughs> for in terms of cooperative miniatures combat games and RPGs, he'll never need anything more than Augs and SCRPG, which I love. The night is very innocent, this is true. Alright. Time to ink! RPD, you got that Nullin Oil uh, emote ready to rock? Because I think it's time for the Nullin Oil. As soon as I get this brush cleaned out. Oh, God. There it is. Sooner or later, we'll have a paint spill emote that you can turn grayscale. I've been trying to think of campaigns that I would want to run in something other than SCRB. Yeah, I know, right? What person would you hate? to let down is now very disappointed in you. Sorry, Hornet. Yeah, for real. Um, but oh my god. So like, like I said earlier, like 
if you try to run Call of Cthulhu, right, you're going to run into the tedium of just making overcome after overcome after overcome after overcome. And, and as GM, you're going to have to sort of wade through that. But I, at the same time, I do think it's doable. Speaking of Call of Cthulhu, did you like that trailer from this week? You're talking about the um, the Arkham one. Yes, I did, and I can't wait to play. We're we're gonna be doing that on Trapped in Arkham, like for sure. It may not be a board game, but we're gonna do it together. Because how cool is that? Mm -hmm. So what we're t what Brody and I are talking about here lovely chat folks uh there is going to be <laughs> tomorrow at six uh for scrpg or for sentinels yes uh blink that is correct uh there is a video game coming out an arkham horror video game uh mother's embrace i believe it's called uh yeah. that we discovered this week and the trapped in arkham crew is going to figure out how to uh manage it whether we have to use Parsec or whatever, we're all going to play it together. Um, and it's going to be great. Have a good night, Blank. Thanks for stopping by, man. Oh, Inquisitive for sure. Um, and yeah, we, we got very excited about it. Um, it looks like a lot of fun, so... <laughs> and Doug will no longer have to look the other way. <laughs> Doug knows perfectly well, man. Like he said, if if we haven't been slapped by now, we're probably fine. But like, oh my gosh, handle over games of the raid. There it is. What's up, John and? And Seamus and crew. How are you this fine evening? You did make it. You guys ran long tonight. Oh my goodness. We're an hour into our stream now. I am working on... These lovely Harley Quinn jerks. Hey, there it is. Captain Kirk comes through with the subscribe, the subscriptions. Captain Kirk is like Mr. G Captain Kirk is like Mr. Generous. He, he loves everyone. And it makes the world a better place to live in, Mark. I mean, Migrant P. <laughs> and occasionally he makes me talk like Tom, or someone makes me talk like Tommy Wiseau. All right, I need sepia. I guess, yeah, I don't use it enough. I don't use sepia enough. But yeah, for those of you just joining us, this is Watching Paint Dry. I'm Zach. I'm one of the hosts on Handle Arbor Games. I, I stream tomorrow night, 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, I do Tales from the Archive. And uh, joining me down and to the left is Broody Gambit. He is also a miniatures you. painter. And yeah, we paint miniatures together on Saturday nights. So join the party. There we go. We've got new followers coming in. And I should probably adjust the volume so it's not blowing everybody's eardrums out. And that happens every time I... So thank you for the follow. And I'm sure Captain Kirk will shortly follow that up with a subscription, because that's what he does. Can't 
stay out of that. What's your cat getting into now? Trash bag. Gross. What is it with cats and trash bags, yo? And it's just like all of my like uh, 3D printer filament like trap. Oh, gross. There it is. Captain Kirk with that gift sub. So, uh, yeah, we do all kinds of stuff on this channel. Um, we do miniatures painting on every single Saturday. We do video games, either cooperative or solo on Thursdays. I have two different shows. Zach Sucks at Games is usually solo. Uh, or, but sometimes I have people like Adam uh, join me for things. Sometimes Broody's on. Uh, sometimes my brother. Um, and my uh and on friday afternoons we stream tabletop board games although we were just barely talking before you all arrived about streaming uh arkham horror mother's embrace which is coming out very soon we're very excited about that and we are going to do that cooperatively with the same team that does um the board game uh stuff as well so all kinds of cool stuff here on this channel welcome 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 um, the current plays for video games, uh, we're working, we're almost wrapped up the Gears of War franchise. We've done all the main Gears games. We're starting Tactics this week. Uh, we're going to be playing that over Parsec. So me and my buddy Alex on our show, uh, Gear Up, will be doing that on Thursday. Uh, I'm playing Batman Arkham, the Arkham, uh, Arkham Asylum series. Uh, I've finished all of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I do that too. Um... I do, yeah, I do about a lot of Batman, so we talk a lot of comics around here. Uh, we did 30XX this week, which was a lot of fun. Uh, that was just an impromptu stream, but uh, it was with uh, Adam, Lord of Illustration, Ribitaro. Um, and that was great fun. Uh, we've got Mass Effect coming up this summer. Once I'm done with the Arkham series, once the new Mass Effect relaunch or re uh, redo happens, we'll be playing that. Um, and then what, it sounds it sounds to me like we'll be right back into the Arkham franchise uh, after Mass Effect because uh, there's some new uh, it was Gotham Knights coming out. Very excited about that too. As you can tell, I'm a ginormous Batman fan. Seeing as I'm sitting here painting Harley Quinn minis. Um, we also take min miniatures painting commissions if you're interested in that. Um, the rates are below. Give you all my shameless self-promotion. <laughs> Who is the best Robin? The best Robin... Tim Drake. Is Tim Drake. Without a question. The best non... <laughs> I know, Kirk. I know. Uh, the best, like, character... Is Nightwing. Dick Grayson. But he is not the best Robin. Very, very specific differences there. I do love Nightwing. I literally, behind this curtain, can I pull it back far enough to show it? Yeah, I can show some of it. You can see Deathstroke. Yeah, it's just, just barely off screen. Um, I have a giant wall of uh, Nightwing art, two of which were done by Adam. Yes, that's true. I mean, I've, I've since moved since uh, John has seen it, and it's been expanded uh, considerably. But yeah, uh, that is true. John was uh, lucky enough to sleep next to the shrine to Nightwing. But yeah, I've added, I've added two Adam Nightwings and at least one other since you've seen it well he I, I, I'd be more worried about the curses and odd stuff he picked up at Pike Industries because that's right around the corner from my house too <laughs> alright um, is there any other shading that I need to do here I don't think there is Neat. So those will go off to the side. 
Well, we take a look at the next thing on the list. Red Hood thugs also wearing suits. There was some back pain. Yeah, that, that is true. We did not necessarily have the best accommodations. We had the freest accommodations <laughs> for when uh, John and uh, his his crew were, were passing by. Um, but yeah, it was good. It was good. Free as binary, it can be a freest. They were the freest available. <laughs> free or not free. There are not levels of free. Um, well, I would take issue with that, Kirk, because, yes, it was great to visit. That was an awesome, awesome weekend. Or overnight, or whatever it was. It was pre-Gen Con stuff. Uh, I did not go that year, and it was sad. Because I believe that was John's last year at Gen Con. But, so, I would, I would, I would argue that f there's free, there's not free, and there's price to be named later which is like free but you know you're gonna have to pay for it down the road but that's just me yes that's true you were with uh, steven who i still talk to every now and again I still hear from him he is a good fellow uh okay so i need corn red that is evil sun, evil sun scarlet Yeah, that's true, because nothing there is no such thing as a free lunch. Someone has to pay for everything somewhere along the line. Even if it's free for you, it might not be It might not be burp. It might not be properly free. These minis are cool. And similarly, very, very easy. I don't even have to paint any flesh on these guys. They're just... Except on their hands. Oh, flesh shade. I forgot to do flesh shade on those guys. Oh, I'll wait for them to dry a bit. And they could very easily be wearing gloves so you don't have to paint flesh. It's true. They could. But I just did that on the Harley Quinn thugs. I'll, I'll give these guys no gloves. Not gloves. Oh, that was a cool thing that happened the other day. Christopher popped into the stream that I did with Adam. It was very funny. And very unsurprised. Very surprised. Yeah, there you go. Yes. John with the self-promotion as well. Get Sentinel Sidekick. Oh my gosh, it's the most useful thing in the world for playing uh, in-person Sentinels. Oh, who designed this mini anyway? It is very, very useful. I enjoy Sentinel Sidekick. I've bought it on like three different platforms. Yeah, me too. All right, there's that. Random game gave me Lifeline, so I guess that's who I'm playing. There you go. There you go. That's what's up. Uh... No, I'm going to... Oh, cheapers. Uh, Lifeline is a lot of fun. Yes, that is correct. That is some learning we learning and growing we did. Citizen Spring, she is friend. Citizen Hammer, go Adam, go away. Be careful when when you say that though, Kirk. You know, as as is what happened last week, Adam could pop in this chat anytime he wants.
Adam knows he's the worst citizen. Christopher knows he's even worse than the worst. Do red hood, red hood. Gotta make this guy red hood or want to be red hood. Citizen Christopher, though, he can go and leave, please. <laughs> Be nice to Adam and Christopher. You can be not nice to Citizen's Hammer and Anvil, but be nice to Adam and Christopher. If it weren't for Adam, this stream would not exist, so... Adam was the one that car sort of pushed me to do this one. I tried it. Oh, for God's sakes. The music has paused itself. This is true. I mean, certainly this is difficult podcast would be in a rough way. <laughs> I shudder to think what would happen if we just let Paul talk. Paul, in this case, being Adam's brother. It's also probably not a good idea to just let Josh talk either. <laughs> Oh my gosh, right? Trevor and I, so, not gonna lie, John, there has been talk. <laughs> I I do a podcast with Trevor, or we are recording it, it is, it is coming, and I said, so real talk, when are you and Paul doing a beer podcast, and can I be on it? <laughs> Paul's good people. I get to talk to him. I mean, via his brother, I get to talk to him about once a week. So, uh, sorry. Two steps. Via Matt's wife, who then talks to Matt, who then talks to Paul. <laughs> Needless to say, I do get to hear from, from Paul every now and again. It's pretty nice. Oh my god, I have no idea how I'm going to get the white in there. Two degrees of Paul. Yeah, I play D&D &D with Trevor and Jenny and Emily and uh, Jacqueline and Alex Schmidt. And it is great. It's great fun. We have a good time. We're going on almost a year with that one now. It's kind of crazy. Oh, what the heck? Glue. I love this song. <laughs> yes. So goofy. For those of you just joining us, as per usual, we are listening to Mega Man soundtracks. Which I find to be very productive.
I'm exclusively trying to paint by camera here because I cannot get my brush in at an angle at which I can see what I'm doing. So hopefully that's reasonable. The X5 Shadow Devil theme song. Uh, yeah, that was that was X6. But I yeah, I agree with you, RPD. That's a good one. Exclusively paint by camera, finger totally covers frame. Well, yeah. Yeah. Eh. Okay. That I can fix. All right, Cult of Gloom. Thanks for hanging out, man. We will talk soon. See you, Cole. <laughs> Despite the world of the wrongdo and all that. <laughs> Had brainwave. I might be able to just do go sloppy with it and then patch it up later. That might be a better idea. Learn learning and growing. No setback, don't draw your character card. Draw a card from your deck instead. <laughs> These guys are pitifully easy. My god. Brett Moore's here! How's it going, dude? Long time. Welcome back. It's, these last couple of weeks have been busy, yo. I hear ya. I know I'm dreading Monday. Oh. Megatone! Thank you for the new follow! Welcome to the show! We're painting minis. Which is one of the many things we do here. All sorts of stuff. RPD, you want to trigger it or do you want me to? You know what needs to be done. Oh, well, first of all, Kirk with the, uh, the gift sub, as always. There it is. Thank you, Captain Kirk. I have bots for that 
John. I have bots to tell people to go to bed. It's a bad joke. <laughs> the triples. <laughs> nice. Ow. 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 Poke myself in the eye. That's not pleasant. No, it's quite unpleasant, especially considering I need that eye to see. Oh boy. That little guy is holding his pistol properly. Good job, little guy. Red Hood has taught... Uh, Jason Todd has taught them well. Actually, we, we were surprised looking through the minis for this, for this game. Trigger discipline is actually really well adhered to. I know precious little about guns, but I do know that. <laughs> and part of that is because I'm a giant setback. Two arm stance, feet braced. Yeah, exactly. He's these these guys are. Doing it right. Any second red ability for the night? Uh, I'm not sure, man. Or just wave it around you like you're in an Edward movie. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's a great line in the beginning of Ocean's Eleven. Do you do you see me pulling the gun out of your holster and just waving it around? That's all I could think of there, RPD. That was really good. <laughs> Excuse me. Do 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 do. It's not toxic. Relax, John. It's all water base. <laughs> it's not like I'm taking spoon <laughs> spoonfuls of it and just mawing it down. I'm just moistening the bristles on the brush. wrist here and it's time to ink these boys <laughs> we'll start dry brushing and highlighting the other guys oh actually I should do the bases first very carefully 
by missing that it wasn't his turn yet. Oh, <laughs> setback is my boy. I don't know that. Okay, bigger brush. Mechanic is standard. Wrong time and place. Or is it the right time and place? Oh, for crying out. Level one setback is I get tokens and deal damage. Level X setback is I play the weird cards nobody plays and achieve world domination. <laughs> You know, Broody, the frustrating thing about painting these Gotham City Chronicles minis is they're all already textured. The bases are already textured. So I'm literally just doing the same thing over and over and over again for them. Well, I guess that's just how it goes sometimes. Sometimes I wonder if setback is too popular to be a boy in accordance with the OSW boy rules. Done with a base. Nice. I don't know what it means, but Google says criteria for being a boy unsuccessful, so I think setback qualifies. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Why have a case of the giggles today? some turtles music coming up yep turtles in time are you am i playtesting definitive edition make sure they take care of your roy oh um migrant p let me just put it this way they are i hope i don't get in trouble for saying that Um, John checks Slack in like two seconds.
Okay, go ahead and check Slack now. TLT and Matter Manipulator. Yeah, that is pretty good. Yeah. Yes, it is very nice. All right, let's get some ink wash down here. Actually, I wanna do one thing real quick on the Harley boys that I forgot to do beforehand. And that is flesh shade on his neck. I have a cosmic emulation and a sulfax, nice. Setback's definitely one of the bigger boys. I was just wondering if he's approaching the upper limit. Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. But he's definitely one, like, I love him thematically. I think he just fits and does exactly what I want him to do. Yeah, I would agree, Migrant Pete. That's a pretty accurate summation, actually. Is that the uh, snow texture, Brody? This is not. This is just some ceramite white that I'm trying to get down on first. Oh, okay. Before I put the texture on top. That makes sense. That is a number. That's an impressive number is what that is. Proud of you, Kirk. And Citizen Christopher just showed up. Of course he did. That's what happens when you start monkeying with his business. He's so handsome. I don't know how many of you were at Gen Con uh, the last time it happened and saw Christopher and Adam in their Citizen's Hammer and Anvil costumes, but it was funny. What was that, Brody? I've got pics of it. Yeah, I do too. It was great. That whole, like, that night was a lot of fun, that, uh, LARPing thing. It was so weird, because, so, like, that was the night that Ellie and Alex and Alex and Sammy and, uh, I, at least one other person, we all went out to, for sushi, and we came back, and we were like, oh, let's just sit down for a minute and chat, and we forgot that the LARP was happening in the room. And we, we, we walked in, we're like, what is this? And I think my exact words were, I'm disgusted and repulsed and I can't look away. Mm -hmm. All right, I need crimson. Where Ellie and Alex and Alex and Sammy and Knuckles. It was definitely an, a, a, a surprising experience. Where is my, where the, oh, is this it? Uh, 
Uh, nope, that's Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. Somewhere down here in the bowels of my desk area, there is a copy of Sonic and Knuckles. I don't know where, and it's bother it's been bothering me for many months. RPD, I also found my copy. I, th I think I told you, I found my copy of Super Double Dragon recently. It's probably load bearing, yeah. It has probably become vitally integral to the overall structural integrity of my of my desk Pass the turn to Tachyon, and Citizen Don only has 14 left. I think... Uh, don't speak too soon, Kirk. You know I'm from New England. It's the land of the curse, yo. We were cursed for 86 years, man. Yes, New English curses, curses do extend to people in local proximity. Or tangential proximity, rather. Nice! Wall plaid, Captain Kirk. I believed in you. I promise. I did. I really did. ba da ba da ba 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 RPD, it's null and oil time again. Yeah, I'm using uh, the Seraphim sepia. Yeah, that looks so good on the Rebel Troopers. You just, is that sepia over white? Yes. Nice. Well, various off shades. Like, I've got Wraithbone and yeah. um, Xandry Dust and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. the boots and gloves are, like, racier. Sure. But, yes, uh, I plan on... Uh, Hitting up with like a white dry brush over all of their stuff. Yeah, that makes some amount of sense to me. I can dig it. I'm probably off camera here. Put your faith in R and Jesus Kirk. Yes, random is always good advice. It's well documented that Baron Blade speedruns should always be run on random, unless a chat legend says, I'm struggling with this configuration. Can you help me? And then, of course, the answer is yes, because that's what we'll be doing tomorrow. I'm very excited. That'll be one of our games tomorrow. One of many, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. That is exactly what Team Leader Tachyon does in that situation.
God, the Turtles in Time soundtrack was so good. So related to anything, how are you enjoying the former Atlantic Division flexing on the league they are now spread out? Don't even get me started, y'all. This season is bad. Actually, I, I have a better answer than that, John. Baseball starts today. Although, I don't know if you saw on Facebook, but because you're not there all that often anymore that I know of. Um, I got the Charlie Conway Mighty Ducks first movie jersey this year, so I've been rocking that a lot lately. Yeah, yeah, spring training. Grapefruit League, yo. I have this one buddy on Facebook who uh, is a former student, and uh, he and I don't agree on a whole lot, but when he posted the pitchers and catchers report, I'm like, yes! Feels good. I do too. Yeah, I hope so. I barely hope so. Bruins need to get their act together, though. All right, a little bit of highlighting for these Harley Quinn jerks. And I missed a giant spot with the sepia. <laughs> right on top of his noggin. Good thing I still have the wash brush out. Lifeline is an absolute beast. He was invaluable in one of our, one of the stupid games, one of the cautionary tales from the ill-advised that Dolphin and I did. Which, was that the, um, that was on Nom Nom Cannon, I believe. Oil. I know, right? I'm watching you just glop it on. Get in all the crevices, along all the little folds, and yeah, for real. Right, this could go very badly, but I'm gonna try it. The radar is jammed and inserts strawberry. <laughs> raspberry. Migrant pee. Raspberry. Because there's only one man in the world who would dare give me the raspberry. Lone Star. working a little bit better than I thought, actually. Probably a little bit more noticeable now. A little bit more. Rick Moranis is a treasure. This is true. And, I mean, you're Canadian. You can say is a national treasure. Although we've got Dave Grohl, so.
He is a global. That's true. He's a global treasure. For sure. Lighter purple. No, this is what I got. Okay, cool. Do it. You got this, Kirk. You know. <laughs> when I was at my parents this evening, we were talking about uh, a, a strange tumor my brother had when he was a kid. And, uh,. I couldn't help but be like, it's not a tumor. Not a tumor. That reminds me of an incredibly bad joke I made at one point in time. All right, chat, fire up the go to beds. Go ahead, we'll go for it, Brody. Um, this was like shortly before, maybe a year or two, like before the Aquaman movie came out. Mm -hmm. And they started doing their, like, oh, we're casting so-and-so as this and so-and-so as that or whatever. And, like, people were, start, like, talking about what they were thinking the movie was going to be like. Yeah. And someone was like, do you think they're going to, like, really lean into Black Manta do or, or other stuff? And so, like, obviously, I come in there and, like, in the Arnold voice, I go, it's not a Tuma. Like, a Tuma being Namor's, like, nemesis. Yeah. In the comic book, yeah. In the comic book shop, everyone like it took it took people a second before they realized how I explicitly said it, as opposed to, and yeah. <laughs> and wise bots got your back. Go to bed, Brady. Well, Helen Blizzard. Right? That that's that I've never had a good use for it, but I want to so badly. Maybe I'll throw a little bit down when I do Mr. Freeze. Chill out. <laughs> Bombs away, Batman. <laughs> God, the puns in that movie were were pretty atrocious. Freeze. Oh, Arnold. It might be too bright, but I'm going to try for it. I'm going to roll the dice a little bit here. My red layer is going to be e Evil Sun Scarlet, and this could bite me in the bum. I feel like this mini is a bit too casual about his muzzle discipline. Well, yeah. So this Valhalla and Blizzard is interesting. Go on. It's like it, it looks good, but it feels foamy. That's strange. As opposed to a lot of the other textures. Huh. Yeah, I am glad I did that uh, white, the ceramite. Yeah. Because getting good coverage with it because it's uh, foamy is a little hard, but it'll definitely yeah, add a layer to it. Yeah, for sure.
So yeah, like with it being as like foamy as it is, it's a little bit harder to spread around kind of like the Iron Crust or Astro Granite or any of that stuff. Right. But I guess it's uh, it looks like fluffy snow. Do you have like a finished one that you could show off? Like how does it dry? Um, I did it. I did Rachel Ghoul last week. Oh, that's uh, right. But it's scarce. Okay. And at this point in time, I doubt Casey's still awake to run it up to me. Right. Boy, this is really, really runny. Working though. Not very happy about that guy, but that's one out of four. There we go. That guy's much better. Cool. Earmark the uh, Evil Sun Scarlet for replacement. Okay, what's next? Um, hair, I guess. Stone, no. Okay, so I even took a little bit of it and put it on some of the spots of the actual piece. Oh, cool! That's a great idea. I guess screaming skull will work. Driver time. Light. Yep, that's. Where I'm at too. At least on the the dude faces that aren't the. Uh... Very very light dry brush on his hair. Just kind of lighten it up just a just a touch. This isn't the soundtrack to Mega Man Zero One at all. One more. Uh, 
All right. We'll do some flesh shading. And we'll dry brush his body, accent the buttons, and, the, and then dry brush the base. And then these guys are ready to ship out. And by ship out, I mean put back in the box because that's where they live. Dry out your confounded brush. Ah. All right, dry brush his suit. Or, or, I could just go ahead and finish the flesh now. It's not gonna take very long. It's just really his ears. And this model that gets the final highlight. It's 
sad that I've done flesh coloring exactly the same way for so long. <laughs> All my dwarfs are exactly the same way. Right back to like the very beginning. Even like different skin tones. I use exactly the same technique. Base color, flesh shade, two different shades. That's done. Did I buy a new pot of Iron Breaker? I feel like I did. That's not where it... Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Mm, no. How did I think I... Am I losing my money? It might be. It's very possible. I don't know. Oh well. That's weird. What's up? I thought for sure I bought another pot of Iron Breaker, but I can't find it to save my life. It's not the end of the world, I have one, but it's just very runny and old. We shall see. Dropping a little bit of Iron Breaker on his gun, not much. Just enough to make it shine. If you hold the model at a funky angle. Care of that. And then I need to do can't remember if it was Terminata Stone. It wasn't Praxetti White. It can't have been. I hope it's Terminata Stone because that's what I'm going for here.
All right. Let's do this. Sorry folks, I'm doing a little bit of this off camera just to sort of see where I'm at. <laughs> Alright, I think that looks dope. That's a Harley Quinn thug. Done. What do you think, Brady? Looks pretty stellar. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with him. Now to do three more. It's <laughs> <laughs> a lot of dry brushing. <laughs> the problem with tuxedos is they're so boring. You undercoat it black and you're basically already done. Yeah. thought of one thing I want to do before we before we officially call it that's why he spikes them up like the lime green ones the felt from Homestuck yeah so RPD I feel like you were here when I streamed uh, with the twins um, well I mean you've certainly heard the twins voices on um, Trapped in Arkham uh, Paul one half of the twins, the, the guys I started another letdown with way back in the day, um, always wears neon green, like, suits. Like Christopher suits. But they're, like, way more obnoxious. And for years, we've been trying to tell him, like, dude, you need to grow up. But. And no neon green suits? Well, it just. It's one thing when we're, you're in college, you know, and you can kind of get away with whatever. But he's like a working professional now. Yeah. It's just a little bit of uh, decorum expected. Does he also pack the Christopher demeanor of don't. Doesn't everyone wear suits for everything? No. He knows he's being a Bonzi buddy. There it is. I do have that gif in this particular um, thing. Don't ask me why. 
but I do have that one. more than I'm the professional they need <laughs> help from. It's gonna happen on my turns. Yeah. I mean, he does he is a computer programmer, so. Anyway, I think that's about as far as I can get on these guys tonight. Yeah, I'm just about done here. As um, I say, the dish uh, still has a decent amount of wash on it that needs to dry before I can really do a lot more. Yeah. But just... this is what I got so far. It looks great. Pretty solid, I would say. Yeah, I just want to finish up dry brushing these boys real fast. And then we can call it a night. And then I can, actually, honestly, I'll probably just dry brush the um, Red Hood boys in the morning, or, well, not in the morning, because we're going for going to Maine, but um, tomorrow, because there's not much going on with those guys. The one problem with dry brushing is that it, even coverage is a difficult chore. Did you finish reading the big post of why I have... I definitely did get a little off track there, RPD, I'm sorry. Alright, one more. I also have a very limited tolerance for the kind of drama you get out of X-Men due to my everything meaning. Oh, I did read that. Uh, that making something relatable has the side effect of kind of excluding me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and, and it's not just you, RPD, because like, you know, there are, there are plenty of us who don't think about things the way that uh, the writers of those materials or the creators do. And that's, yeah, that's a little, that's a little detrimental, I would agree. And kind of not where they're... And like, I don't... Don't get me wrong, I don't believe that everything should be for everybody. That's not true either. But like... I'm not, and I'm not going to hold that against the X-Men. It's just not... It's not as relatable as they think it is. For everyone. For some people, it sure is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. All right. Well, with that, that is four basically completed Harley Quinn boys. I may go back and do the, like, cuff button link things, cuff links and whatnot. Uh, on, on them at a later time, but I think that is just where we're going to call it for tonight. 
Anyway, thank you all so much for hanging out this this evening. This has been an absolute blast. Broody, it is always a pleasure hanging out with you, my dude. Um, yep. And we will be back. We'll be back next week, presumably. Uh, unless, you know, hell freezes over or something weird like that. Um, tomorrow night, I will be on the Handle Arbor Games channel at 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time and the Ryugami-san channel at 9 um, to do Tales from the Archive and This is Difficult Podcast, respectively. Um, and let's see. This week, we've got Gear Up, probably, on Thursday. If not, it'll be more ba Batman Arkham Asylum or C Arkham City, I guess. And then Trapped in Arkham. It's Trapped in Arkham Week. We will be back to Arkham Horror First Edition this week. Uh, that's Friday night at 6. So have a great night, everybody. Take care. Be safe. And we'll talk to you real soon. Bye.